Sample 12.3. What I have here, I have a metallic particle that is traveling downward through a fluid and that expands from plate A and plate B under the influence of magnetic field, right? So there is a fluid between plate A and plate B and a particle is going downward under the influence of the magnetic field. If the particle is released from rest at midpoint C, when S is equal to 100 millimeters. So guys, I'm gonna take this sentence here. Do you have to tell me what does this mean? What does this mean? All right, so since it is released from rest, this means that at T is equal to zero, V zero is equal to zero. And what also, guys? At midpoint, S is equal to 100 millimeter. So S zero is equal to what? All right, so this means, guys, that the origin, no, it is 100, it's not 50. It is at the midpoint C, which means here, right? So the whole distance between A and B is 200. 200 over 2 is 100, all right? But all, it's not the half of 100, it is the half of 200. All right, so what does this mean, guys? This means that my origin, that my origin, perfect one, is at A. It's not, guys. At my origin is not at the location of the particle when t is equal to zero. All right, so I can take this. So it's not necessary, guys, that my origin should be at the location of uh, of the particle when t is equal to zero. All right. So guys, here this is a, okay, and this is my origin. So a is my origin. Since the motion is downward, I'm gonna take s positive in the downward direction, okay? Then this is when t is equal to zero. So when t is equal to zero, the particle was at c and it is released from rest, which means v0 is equal to zero. I know that the acceleration is equal to four s. And this means, guys, that uh, this acceleration depends on s. If s is positive, it is positive. Since here, s is positive, so uh, uh, a is positive. All right? Okay. So A is equal to 4S, where S is in meters. I should determine the velocity. So I'm going to find the velocity when it reaches B, which means when... What does this mean? So when, when this particle arrives to B, what will be SB, guys? SB is equal to 200. Yes, you're right. Because in fact, SB is OB, and O here is A, so it is AB, so it is equal to 200. All right? Uh, Hussain, you're asking me is the acceleration due to the magnetic field only, or does gravity affect it too? Of course, they are both. So all of the forces exerted on this particle they create an acceleration of 4s, right? Okay, so this is, of course, after doing the second law of Newton, they found that the acceleration is equal to 4s. But I'm not going to uh, talk about uh, uh, the forces, in fact, because I'm going to save this part to the kinetics chapter, right? So here we are only at the kinematics chapter, which means I need only to find S, A, and V, regardless of the forces that are causing this A S O V. All right. So guys, let me write down the equation again. So the first equation is V is equal to D S over D T. The second equation is A is equal to D V over D T. The third equation is uh, uh, A is equal to D squared S over dt squared, and the fourth one, which is the independent equation of time, is ads is equal to vdv. Right? I have to choose between these equations, and I'm going to choose the equation that can convert the three-variable equation to two-variable equation. I know the equation of a is equal to 4s. Can I take the first one to find the velocity? 
No way, because there, uh, there is no A here. Can I take the second one to find the velocity? In fact, if I substitute A by 4S, right, I'm, I'm still going to have three variable equations. So no. Can I take the third one? No, because in fact, I have to find V. Right? So guys, even if this equation will be converted to two variable equation, right, I can replace A by 4S and find S by doing the double integration. But I don't want to find S. I want to find V. All right? So you can take this one and then find S and then do the derivative to find V. All right? So what I'm going to put here is this symbol. This symbol means it is true, but I'm not going to use it. Why? Because I don't want to use I don't want to find S. I want to find V. All right? So let's take this, the fourth equation. If I replace A by 4S, right, then I can find V, in fact, because this equation will be two variables equation that are V and S. This is my chosen equation. Right? So let's substitute A by for S for S dS will be equal to V V V. Right? So it's already separated, guys. My variables are already separated, all right? So I can directly do the integration. Now, what about the integration? When s is equal to, when s is equal to what? Is it when it is equal to zero? So guys, trust me, some of you in the exam will put zero here, right? Because they will not take into account the boundary condition, right? So here, guys, when s is equal to 100, v is equal to 0, all right? And then this will be v, and this will be s, and you can, of course, do the integration on your own, because, in fact, it is a very simple uh, integration. It is 4s squared over 2 between 100 and s, and this will be equal to v squared over 2 between 0 and v, which means it is v squared over 2. So now, guys, you know the equation of v in terms of s, and that's why, guys, they ask you to... Just one minute. And that's why, guys, they ask you to determine the velocity when it reaches plate b. That's why they are asking you to find the velocity when s is equal to 200, and that when t is equal to uh, t1, all right? Of course, you have to, uh, for Abbas, uh, Abbas, yes, you have to convert this one 100 millimeters to meters, all right? Because, in fact, here, uh, it's meters per second squared, right? So you have to convert it, of course. Okay? So that's it, guys. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now, since VB is also, the value of VB is also positive, so it's, of, of course, in the positive S, which means it is down. 